Hey guys and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 where we will be starting off a brand new campaign. We will be playing as the Golden Horde, a country which I recently stomped on in my recent Muscovy campaign but we will be going for the Great Khan achievement where we need to, as either the Mongol Khani or the Golden Horde, conquer or vassalize the Chinese, Russian and Persian regions. So this is going to be a bit of a biggie, bit of a biggie. Um, because, like I said, we had a small uh, Russian campaign prior to this, so I wanted to get my teeth stuck into something a bit more substantial. So let's uh, make sure I have my modes on for crying out loud, Stager. It's about three times I've started different series and forgot about that, so let's make sure it's on. Luckily, we start off with a 002. Beautiful. But we get some decent horde ideas and some decent CBs and stuff, which will make this pretty fun. We start off as an Eastern Tech group and we're Sunni. Sunni. So let's say uh, Khan. Sher Khan. Start Iron Man. Ah. Good old start to an EU4 campaign. Eh? I do enjoy it. So much that could happen. So much that could go wrong. I think I'm going to start off by taking over Ryazan. That looks like a good idea. Let's have a look. Hmm, we've got Gazaku maybe. We've got Ryazan here that we could take over. Go to war with straight off the bat. Take over and then bash Muscovy. Uh, and, like, eat Muscovy with Ryazan with him being orthodox and might be an idea. Kazan, no guy, you guys will be super easy to take. You know what we could do? We could split you, send sixes down there. Oh, actually, let's pop you up there, pop you up there. We could go to war with Gazakumuk and go to war with Ryzen before the game even starts. Stomp both of them pretty easily. Conquer Yike. Where is Yike? Uh, ah. Yike is here, the part of no guy. Don't want to fight no guy right now. I'm definitely not at the start of the game. Uh, much rather fight one of these guys first. Um, so yes, that might be a good shout. Let's uh, so let's do it. Let's show superiority. CB, indeed, declare war. And you as well. Oh yes, we need to wait a month. I much rather fight Ryazan. Then uh, risk this one, although it won't take as long to get that first month out of the way. And hopefully they won't have got any... There we go. Oh, we've still got a little bit to wait. Should probably get some advisors as well. Actually, how's our monetary situation looking? Two ducats a month. Uh, I'm probably going to want... Better relations would be alright. Stability, national tax, nope, not too bothered about it. Oh no, it's got to be the discipline block. Sounds good, we've got our lovely 002. Useless. Let's uh, spend our first 50 points on grabbing a general who is surprisingly pants. 3 shock, ain't too bad. We also got a bonus to... Cavalry as well, is it? Hmm. You cannot have more than 100% cavalry compared to your infantry. Yeah, so that means that we can have... We can't have more than double our cavalry compared to infantry, but other than that, it's fine. Okay, so you guys decided that it was a good idea not to... Uh, oh, I thought I'd paused it. There we go, Battle Rise and complete. Let's uh, head into there and end those guys. On the 6th of February. Hopefully you can end that fight quickly enough. Yes, you can. Ah, I didn't quite manage to drop a leader on this army. Okay, we're going to lose that fight. Let's uh, just escape from that one. Let's detach you guys and send you down here. Need to wait on a month ticking before I can detach anyone else though. There you are. Can you... no. No, they start. they need another couple. 
No guy declared war on Kazan. They try. They cite tribal feud. Hmm. We'll see what happens here. Might be a good idea to go to war with no guy. The only thing was we didn't have a general because he was up here. I was hoping to catch him just beforehand. Um, but it didn't really work for us. That's alright, we'll just... Crimea declared war on Theodoro. They cite tribal conquest and... Freaking Windows updates trying to update my PC. Quit it. Jeez. Alright. Can't you see I'm trying to take over the bloody world here? Stupid windows. Don't know what's good for them. Alright. So let's group this army. That's 7,000 men. Don't you dare go into my land. That's what I thought. Fool. I'm coming for you. I've got a general now. You may have a 2 0. I think you're hot shit. I've got a freaking 1 3. Yeah. Shock phase is ours. A bloody. Yeah, we've got it. Bloody mountains, man! We should have easily had that if it weren't for those mountains. So are we suffering a penalty? No, we're not. Oh, because it's 67, that's right. So we can have just like a ton of cavalry. They're going to T Rex. Okay, let's pop up there and come back down. I'm going to vassalize them and maybe vassalize these guys. And then just eat everyone else with my vassals. That would make sense. We're big enough. And I don't want to have to worry about having to use my admin points for anything, so. So, yes, we shall do that. Still no mission. Uh, religious unity? Nah. Wait a minute, we've got religious unity issues? Oh, bloody shears. How's our current piety? It's pretty decent. Less piety we get tax, manpower, and techs are cheaper. That's right, but if we keep raising the piety, we get more missionary strength, morale of armies, and fort defence. Gotcha. Right, you guys might want to detach a siege and head up to Saratov along with you guys so that we don't take more attrition than we need to so that we can keep this ball rolling I always want to start off strong and uh, I think taking getting two vassals right at the beginning is uh, a pretty strong start I've got provincial unrest, is that a Shia in place? yeah that's freaking heck oh you guys are all Shia I take it? yeah and these are orthodox. God, people around here, people around these parts don't know what freaking god to support. Just take your bloody pick. Oh lol, Muscovy's charging up on that freaking on that border there. What a piece of me. A three four three. That bloody general. No point fighting Muscovy until he's dead. Oh, Muscovy's declared war on Kazan. God. I'm actually very tempted to declare war on Kazan myself and take a chunk of that pie. Under siege of Ryazan, of course we have. So that means that we can peace out Ryazan. We could either fully annex them or... Oops. Let's probably not do that. Or make them our vassal, and I much prefer to make them our vassal. And uh, there we go. And we're only up to in two wars right now. So can we declare on you for Canadi? What goes to take Canadi? Declare more on a fellow soon as a crime against Allah, and we'll decrease our piety by six. You know what? I don't want to decrease piety just yet. Ah, you know what? Plenty of time to fart around with piety. This is just too good. What's the highest uh, base tax? Ah, they're both the same. Grain and oh, that one's got iron, so we'll go for some biscuit. Declare war, it takes some birsk. 
Okay. Freaking one monger and asshole, this guy, honestly. There we go. As soon as that guy gets in there, we're just going to fan out. Because Kazan don't have any freaking troops. Of course they don't. Why would they? They're at freaking 73 wars. They're in 73 wars, is what I meant to say there. That crap should go fine. Samara. Okay, this army will reinforce eventually and be able to take that. And these two armies will get large enough that I can detach someone and move them into yet another place. And that reminds me. Uh, subjects, let us make sure that they... Uh, try to siege as much as possible and not attach to friendly armies. That is the best thing that I want you to do. So knock yourselves out. Especially you, Ryazan. I want to see you at Air Chali. Actually, that being said, Ryazan, go! Like that ever works. There we go. That's one troop that I can now peel off. And next month I should be able to... There we go. Peel you off to come up here. And eventually you'll reinforce so that you can see Jad down. Don't you worry, brother. Alright, that place is nearly done. We need to reinforce here. On the siege of Turkey. Of course we have. Let's get up here and into Kazan. Oh no, not go to Kazan because we can't take Kazan. Let's go to Bashkortostan. Bashkortostan. How's this war with Kazan going? Oh, you're winning it, are you? I wonder why. Right, Ryzen, come on! There's so many of you. It's a good day to die. Of course it is. I'm taking so many places. Achieve religious unity. Not gonna happen. What I can do though is I can detach you and move you there. And. Ugh. I should detach. Actually, give me your horses and move you up there. Ah, crap. Okay. We've missed out on Bashkoshkashkadan. So I'm just going to move you there. You go there, and you, numero dos, you can go there, because that's not getting sieged down. And Ryzen have finally come in there. Okay, so if we take that and head over to Perm. You, my friend, shall become my new vassal. Welcome to the fold. You're not very big, but you will be. Don't you worry. Oh. I don't know what you're doing with that man, but he's probably about to die. Yep, looks like he died. Well, that's alright. If I want to take that, and I am more than happy with that. Uh, you head over to Perm, see if you can siege it. You as well, actually. There we go. Okay, that one's been seized, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So let's just head up here. Considering how spread out we were, we managed to... Oh, actually... Ah, oh, god damn it. You come over here, because it looks like... It looks like these guys keep giving up their, uh, their siege here. Yep, and it looks like this is the Golden Horde land. Bitch. <laughs> Oh, okay. You just stay there then. You head here. Oh, oh, thank god. It's only detaching. Grouping does not lose you your siege. It's only detaching that loses you your siege. I don't know where you're going. 
Oh, you just helped me with a siege? Oh, thanks. Thank you ever so much. I'm not even going to group those guys, I'm just going to leave them. Ah, perfect. Look at this. We're pretty much sieging down the entire Kazan already. How much of full annexation? <laughs> we can't even vassalize them, they're too big. But after some of the other wars finish, we might be able to. Let's uh, speed four and get this underway. Should group them while they were away. Hey. One siege over. Let's see how much I can take without uh, losing anything. I like how Muscovy's got two provinces out of all of this. You're so useless, Muscovy. Alright, that's that one. That's that one. Oh, they just fall so quickly. Unfortunately, I won't be able to take Kazan. Oh, this really sucks. No. Just peace out with someone else. Like, peace out with some of these other guys. I'll be happy. Now I'll just go and siege all your land that way again. Because it does not bother me. But, before this war ends, I'm going to have to call it an episode. So, as always... Well, as I always say at the uh, start of a new series, if you would please like to drop a like down below and to drop a comment on this video, it really does help me out with search engine optimization and bringing a lot more people to the channel. If you do that, I would be eternally grateful. So guys, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I have been Steejo, you have been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.